Now, in the run-up to the exams, as students come under stress, many tend to neglect their healthy eating habits. And uh, with tomorrow marking the start of the junior and leaving certs, Chef Paul Naff joins us in the kitchen now with some healthy brain-boosting food to help you get you on track. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And so it's a bean burger we're making. We're going a vegetarian bean burger. So what we want to stop is we want to stop the lads going for those kind of sweet treats. All that's going to do is it's going to make them feel a sugar full. rush type sugar of rush, thing. And then and they're going to crash, crash, absolutely. Yeah. So I so say my daughter's sitting the leaving cert tomorrow, so best of luck for everyone in Castle Troy College. What's her name? Emily. Emily. Oh, she's be up. She'll be up, up and studying. All right. You hear all right? Um, Not so watching you. No. no. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off simple ingredients, and all these are up on TV3's websites. It's 100 grams of breadcrumbs. We've got some scallions or spring onions, some garlic, some chilli. We're using black-eyed beans, but you can use any kind of bean if you want. You can use kidney beans, you can use mixed beans, cannellini beans. So basically, it's just a vegetarian base. And then we're putting a little bit of cumin, a little bit of paprika, seasoning. We finish that off, uh, you have a finished patty like that with some melted cheese, and then we serve that just on a toasty So you run. put all these ingredients into a dish... Absolutely. ...and mash them all together. Yeah, so we'll just do that. What I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm just going to... We're going to top these with some caramelised... or it's not some caramelised, some actually balsamic. Really, really little handy thing to do for a salad. It's really tasty. You just cut your onions into rings, OK? All we need to do is we just pop in there some balsamic vinegar, and we leave that just to soak. And you can leave that soak. If you leave that soak for about half hour, you end up with these really soft and sweet pickles. Oh, yeah, if you want to have a taste of those, yeah. they're really, really tasty, actually. Um, if, you, if you like kind of a pickled onion, they really soften down and, mm -hmm. and they're on top of the burger. So, making the burger themselves. Yeah. All right, and what we're actually going to serve these with just there is some... Some sweet, sweet potato, potato fries. fries. So what we're going is we're going to twist on a normal burger and chips. We're trying to just health it up a little yeah. bit, all right? So all that is is just some sweet like potato. sweet potatoes. It's really tasty. Really tasty, tasty yeah. Higher in vitamin C than a normal potato as well. So if we're going to look after the immune system through the leaving cert as well, there's going to be a lot of late nights, as you said. There's yeah. going to be a lot of cramming and stuff no, like I, that. I like them, I must admit. Yeah. And I love them when they go into the oven. They're nice and, uh, absolutely. and brown and really nice. Oil, paprika, coat them. They're, they're actually quite big because it will take they will long... shrink down. They will shrink down a little bit. They take about half hour to cook and they will come down a little okay. bit in size. So if you make them kind of, kind of really, really skinny, they'll just... They'll yeah, just go down to nothing, go okay? to nothing. Pop those in the oven there for about about half hour, something okay. like that. All right. So the actual burger. The burger. So bread 100 crumbs. grams of breadcrumbs goes into there. Okay. We put in there a couple of spring onions, some uh, chili, some chili, and some garlic. That just all goes into there as well. And then there's some cumin and some smoked paprika goes in there as well. And okay. Like you're saying if you don't have that, that doesn't necessarily not really mean, no. like because we have we we do have things in the cupboard that we can sort of. <laughs> Mix and match as well. Because this is a cooked mix as such, you can actually taste and you can actually add. So if you want to put some more smoked paprika yes. in, you're more than welcome to. If you mm. want to omit the cumin or anything like that. And then as I say, what we're going to put in there, black eye beans. So you can use kidney beans, cannellini beans, butter beans, any type of bean. Right. You can buy cans of mixed beans as well. So you get a mixture of everything. Great source of protein, really low in fat, great source of carbohydrate. And at the end of the day, the student is a machine. Yeah. It needs to be well fueled. It needs to be well hydrated. So the last thing we want is those crashes midway too. So we're just going to pop those in there like this. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. Uh, a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt goes in there, and a little bit of pepper. Okay. That's that. And now again, great if you've got small kids, you can mush it and you can get your hand in there and just smush this up. Okay. I was going to say there's no liquid because the beans. The beans is have the liquid. Absolutely, yeah. The beans have got the liquid in there. The mm. breadcrumbs are going to absorb all of that flavour as well. Okay. So literally, we just smush all of this up. Best thing about these, if you're going to make this. If you double this or quadruple this mix, okay, mm -hmm. what you can do is you can actually make them into patties like we have here yeah. and pop them into the freezer, okay, and, and then you can take, take them out as and well. When you've got like a lazy week, yeah. day, like you know the kids are going to come in, they're going to say, listen, I'm going to starve to death, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. At least then you have them in the freezer. Um, also, as well, you can cook them, leave them cold, grate in a wrap or something like that as well, all right? Cool. So, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All, right. all it's going to taste like it's a bit like kind of like a falafel kind of a taste, yeah. do you know what I mean? All right. So, all we do is we get this and we, oops, we make this into a patty, okay. How many would you make from what you've put in from there? From there you'll get three or four, depending upon the size, okay? Yeah. So all we do is we make this into a patty kind of a shape. Yeah. Okay. They will stick together. And again, all we do is we just pop this into the pan. Into the pan. We'll turn our pan up a little bit more here. Okay. And how long do you do? Is they it just about, to brown them because you put them in the oven then? They're about do you? four minutes or either side. Do you cook side. them in the pan or you can in cook the them oven? in the pan, okay? They're about four minutes either side. Okay. All right. So all we need to do is just halfway through, we just pop them over. Yeah. Okay. And then say, once that starts to cook up there, there's about four minutes either side. Okay. Once they're like this and they've cooked for about two or three minutes on the other side, what you can do is a couple of things. Is you can put your cheese on it, and if you've got a lid, you could put a lid over your pan if you wanted to. If not, what you can do is to what let I the do. Cheese melt. To let the cheese melt. All I do is I normally just put the cheese on top of that, and I just pop that into the oven. I'm kind of a lazy cook, so We're I cook in the pan. Absolutely, yeah. Put the pan in the oven. Make sure it's an oven-proof pan, yeah, yeah. and then just pop that into yeah. the oven. That cheese is going to melt. So there's a choice. There's a nice mozzarella there, or there's a lovely smoked cheddar. So if you want that kind of barbecue smoky. 
theme going on. You've got that coming through in the paprika as well. You get some really gooey cheese. So when you buy, you have some of the melting here. Oh, in absolutely. The we have to have the ones we had prepared. Oh, earlier, yeah. You know. So these are going to take about four minutes to cook, as I say. They uh, just there's a, just a, a lowish heat. You don't want it super high. You have it super high, you're going to start to burn. burn it on the they're, outside, they're going to yeah. start to caramelise and stuff like that. Okay. So we've got our sweet potato wedges cooking in there for our chips. We've got our burgers cooking away here like this. So all we would do, as I say, there is we would just put on the cheese. So I don't have a lid for this, so I would just cook everything in the oven. I finish mm. a lot of stuff off in the oven, okay, just to melt that down. So we'll do a little sample of each. We have a little bit of a mozzarella going on, so you can just see. And you have them. You have loads of them finished here. Are Absolutely. these are different cheeses on these ones? There's mozzarella on there. There's smoke. So what we've got is we've got they sliders. Look fab. So what you can have is you can have this as a big main. This is coming in for a family of four under mm. ten euros. So you made a lot of different and sliders. Different here. sliders, yeah. And then we just pop that into the oven. And then here's the one that we prepared earlier. So here they want to come. Now, what cheese is on these? These have got smoked Just cheddar. Oh, Sybil. Sorry, breakfast. Smoked cheddar. So do you like your bean burgers? I do, so yeah. So all we've got here, guys, OK, is we've got the little bit of a tomato on the base. Just give it a nice little bit of moisture on there. We've got this lovely, soft, spicy bean burger with wow, a little bit of melted that. cheese on there, OK? Mm. What we've got is this. This is really good. You can actually just put this on top of a salad. It's just raw red onion with some balsamic vinegar. Oh, the and smell it softens of it. up, oh, it's really great. It's almost like a kind of a pickled onion. And that really cuts through the fat of the cheese as well. Do you know what I mean? You get that tart and that cheese and stuff. So if you like cheese and you like onion, you, you can't go too and far. And how long on. do you leave that to marinate? That was about half an hour. Okay. Okay, so we pop that on the top there. Lovely stuff. Just see that Lovely. here. We're just going to push these out there. Yeah, we'll so just we see them. It. And I just want to finish that off there with a little bit of green. Could you just pass me the green yep. there, okay? okay? It's all about the presentation at the end of the day, isn't it? I'm just going to pop a little bit of green on top of here. And they're probably low in fat as well, are they? These are really, really low in fat. These are really, really high in fibre. We're just going to pop those on the top there, OK? And then what you've got is these beautiful, wonderful burgers. Go on, Go on. tuck in there. This is kind of something that you just... There's no pretty way to eat a burger. Okay. No, that's uh, why I'm letting Sybil do it. In that lovely, lovely yellow dress. It might but be a little you know, bit hot. Mm. The gas thing is, when I get a burger, I always get my burger without the bun. Yes. Well, yeah. again, Again, you can have that just like that as well yeah. as I say. You can have that just with a little bit of salad with some sweet potato fries. Actually, so I'm, we've going got... to, I'm going to. Or you can wrap it in lettuce either as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, or you can actually heat this cold as well as a wrap. So you just get this really, really moist burger. Again, you get a really nice bit of cheese on there. If you get those onions as well, I taste those onions. Those onions are really, really good as well. And they just soften down as well. And they take away that sharpness of the onion. How are we finding that? So you're not a bean burger van. Can we convert you ish just for the camera? Mm. Surprise. It's actually very nice. It tastes actually really meaty. And that's the thing that you're trying to... Obviously, some time, like my son went vegetarian about four years ago, so rather than trying to cook about three or four different dishes, this was the dish that was common ground. This was the dish that everybody would eat, you know what I mean? Yeah. So rather than cook if one If you were one, blindfolded and told somebody you're eating a burger, I think they'd believe they were eating a burger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah nice totally. Thanks very much, yeah. Yeah. Totally. While getting an A and you're cheese, leaving yeah. at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we're getting an A Alan, and you're leaving. You're yeah. getting more intelligent I'm as you get... As, brain food. as, as the morning's going on. <laughs> My God. You'll be able to read the autocue next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very right, much, guys. Thanks very much. Now, speaking of which, coming up next on Ireland AM, the Holistic Gardener will be here with some remedies for dealing with your sunburn. And I say there's plenty of people with sunburn around the country yeah. after the weekend. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>